Ben? Pain, poison pain. Pain, man. poison pain, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, let's start it. All right, I'm gonna start with this right here. So what got you into rap? What made you kind of want to, what made you take it from just a hobby to an actual career? Like made you think, when was the point when you decided that this was something we could do? I realized when, well, when people were paying attention, you feel me? I'm from New York City, I'm from Brooklyn, so end of the day growing up, hip hop was always, was a part of our everyday lifestyle regardless, you know what I mean? Growing up in the fucking like 90s and shit like that. Just rapping with your friends. Just yeah, it was just something that we did, you feel me? We didn't know, like I didn't know that my friends were famous. I didn't know that. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know that Sean Price was a legend. That was my man, that was my big bro. I didn't know. It's just something that we did. It's something that we enjoyed doing the way we expressed ourselves. So in a way, saying? also, the universe kind of just pulled you into it. You know what I mean? Like In a way. Like, you're meant to be a rapper, you know? I mean, I like, guess when you, if, you born, if you're born in New York in a certain era, I guess that kind of makes you that. You feel me? Yeah, of course. Yeah, absolutely. Um, what do you think is different between uh, the U.S. Uh, hip-hop scene and the European hip-hop scene? I, I feel like over here, there's it's a little different. The European hip-hop scene is more traditional. They, res they respect more traditional values and shit. Right, they like more old school, I feel like, too. Like um, they mo yeah, probably. Probably, yeah. It's also just an you, older you, place. You're gonna of beat me. It's you're more old school. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. an older place. I mean, well, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, but I mean, it's an older place, but but at the same time, you know, it's... it's old school hip-hop, I mean, hip-hop originated in New York, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, but... um. You guys have well. Europe has more traditional values and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying like a lot of the, a lot of the U.S. crowd now is more uh, based on what the trends are. Not everyone, but a lot of people. You a know lot what of people. Yeah. So you seem like a pretty um, fun, nice guy. Tell me why you chose battle rapping. For me, I it's really hard for me to insult somebody. Like, not that I can't do it, but I just can't think of witty shit to say off the bat. Like, I tell you like this, man. Growing up. We used to always, uh, we used to call it snapping, you know what I'm saying? Snapping on somebody, you're like, you snapping on me? It, it was just, before, before, not even rap, it was just joking on people, you know what I'm saying? That's just what we did, like, New Yorkers, we talk a lot of shit, you understand what I'm saying? Okay. So talking shit, regardless if you can rap or not, talking shit is just a part of being a New Yorker, you okay. understand what I'm saying? So you gotta, you gotta build that tough skin, so my thing is, I was always a big, a big guy, so Somebody always gonna have some slick shit to say. Right, right. So I gotta, so gotta always have. A, I always gotta have a rebuttal anyway. Yeah. That's just how it was. So we didn't know that it was turning into rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was just something that we did. Just for jokes. And, and, and yeah. I always had. A, it was kind of like martial arts. It was just. It was just a way to be on guard. I, I always had to have a rebuttal for something that someone say to me. I always had to have a response. You couldn't just stay silent. New Yorkers talk too much shit. Yeah. You can't sit there and say something and I sit there and I say nothing back. You know what's what I mean? your, what's your favorite battle? I like Disaster a lot, I guess. I say, what's one of your favorites? What's the one that speaks to you the most? Like, yo, this one right here, this is whatever, this is what it's about. It's not. It, it's from from something called the Irish Battle League. Um, so it's two Irish rappers. Okay. Uh, I got. I got. You got. You got. Tell me, I got to look. I got to look. I got to look them up. There. Yeah, Raptor. His name is Raptor. R A P T O R. Okay. T -O -R. Um, versus Sayo, S A Y O, and the reason I like it is because it was when I first got introduced to, to battling, and my first show in Ireland was a battle, and I'd never done it before. Mm -hmm. And they came on right before me, and so that pretty much taught me everything I learned about it within a few minutes. How long ago was that? Four years ago. Four years ago. Oh, yeah. You still, you still relatively new. Relatively new, and I don't battle, but I've learned not to write down stuff if I do battle, not to try to prepare it because then I fuck it up halfway through and I or I choke. It's better for me if now if I just kind of like just go with what. It's a, it's a, oh, you, so you battle? You battle now? Is what you're saying? No, I just rap, but people still like to battle me for some fucking reason. You know what I mean? So, right. Um, they th for some reason they think if you're an MC you should be able to battle, but. I like to cop. I'm a hugger. You know what I mean? Like I'm a hugger too. <laughs> yeah. So it's cool, man. What would you tell? Um, what would you tell someone who looks up to you? Uh, who is it in your position? Like as far as dream following, like what would you? What advice would you give somebody who's looking to to build something or start something like you started? Don't let anyone deter you from your goals. 
Yeah. Yeah, your, 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 your dreams may sound outlandish, may sound stupid to other people, but you know in your heart what it is you want to do. Yeah. Don't let no one deter you. Yeah, yeah. At the same time, you still have to be realistic and keep your feet grounded. So your dream may not be what's working right now. So you still have to have a contingency plan. But for me, like... You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm literally a country dude from Texas that has found my way over here. And what part of Texas are you from? From Houston. Yeah. So Houston ain't that country. The rest of it. It's not, but yeah. That's the, that's the big city in Texas. The, hood, the country hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you know, it's, um, I, 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 something always has told me in my brain and in my body that I should pursue this. And what the fuck? What's right here? I started backpacking. I bought a one-way ticket to Spain and I did a year and a half backpacking around selling my music to people. Copy. And then I started street rapping. So now I rap in trains and I rap in subway stations and all around Europe. And because of it, I've met so many people and now I play all these festivals. Word. But So it's really a dream-following thing. But something in my brain and in my blood told me that this is, uh, that this is a possible thing to do. You know what I mean? Which I don't even understand, but I don't feel like my, my brain is going to lead me in the wrong direction mm. or, or or lie to me about what I think is a possible thing that I can accomplish. Right. Does that make sense? Like, yeah, not so, for you. It's, um, Connect oh, motherfucking four. Team fucking I didn't even army. see that. Yeah. Connect motherfucking four. I was into the interview. <laughs> That's the man. whole point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Poison fan, thank you very much for your time, man. I really appreciate that. That's all good, brother. That was a cool game, and uh, yeah, I hope you have a good time at Hip Hop Camp. Take, take a sip, bro. Yeah, please. Yeah, yeah.